Good evening. You're watching Left, Right and Center. I'm Nidhi Razdan. Tonight, as the BJP's top leadership meets and chalks out a new strategy to take on the government and its reform policies, we ask if the main opposition party has failed to capitalize on the UPA's blunders. Also, shouldn't political parties be more transparent and come under the Right to Information Act? Most parties, including the Congress and the BJP, are resisting it, but the Central Information Commission has today given them 10 days to give their final stand. Those are the big debates tonight, but first let's get straight to the top political story today, the political crisis within the Congress NCP government in Maharashtra. Over 24 hours after the resignation of Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister Ajit Pawar and other NCP ministers who had offered to resign, NCP legislators met today amid high drama and passed a resolution urging Ajit Pawar to withdraw his resignation. They, however, left the final decision to party chief Sharad Pawar. However, Mr. Pawar is silent on whether he will accept or reject his nephew's resignation. Meanwhile, 13 independents who are supporting the government have opened up another front today, threatening to rethink their support if Ajit Pawar's resignation is indeed accepted. So is all of this political power play? Is it a pressure tactic? What exactly is going on in Maharashtra? Regarding support from NCP to Indian government and Maharashtra, there are no two opinions about that. We continue to support the government in Delhi and government in Maharashtra. In both places, we will be part of government. Well, Tejas Mehta now joins us for more on that big political story now from Mumbai. Tejas, what's going on here? Is this essentially being seen as a pressure tactic uh, for, for changing the chief minister of Maharashtra, who's known to have differences with the NCP? Or is this an internal war that's playing out? Well, there are always, as always, there are wheels within wheels here. Uh, the Congress's, the NCP's survival here in Maharashtra without the Congress is almost impossible. For the last uh, 13 to 15 years, they all they've been together, and they they do know if they if they do go their own ways, it will be complete political harakiri, especially for the NCP because the Congress has a larger base. But of course, in the last few years, the NCP has doing is is doing much better than uh, than earlier, and perhaps better than the Congress also. And therefore, there is a sense within a certain section of the NCP NCP that they must take make most of uh, the backlash of the of the scams which we have seen across the country against the Congress and go their own way and start their own you know uh, get their own solid base in Maharashtra and then of course capitalize when the 2014 election comes so this is preparation for the 2014 election secondly also of course there is the, the Ajit Pawar factor mind you he is far more independent in nature compared to what Supriya Sule is Supriya Sule of course listens to her father compared to that Ajit Pawar is now perhaps on his own feet. He has come of age, has become the Deputy Chief Minister of Maharashtra and he is more or less independent. Uh, sources within the, uh, the NCP of course tell us that all is not well between a senior Pawar and junior Pawar and therefore this was one opportunity for him to really come out and say that I am a man of my own making and I decide what I really want to do. But of course uh, the NCP put up a brave front saying that Sharad Pawar of course was aware of what really was happening. But then he constantly saw that in Delhi and in and in uh, Mumbai, the voices which were really coming out were co co absolutely contrary to what uh, they both were saying and therefore questions uh, naturally being raised as to are they on the same page or is this all a drama really or are there serious differences within the NCP itself. In my, uh, what we have been hearing talking to various political parties and of course the NCP, uh, we surmise here that this is political pressure being put on the Congress not only because 2014 is nearby but of course they don't want uh, Prithviraj Chavan to be here longer from, uh, for than at least the next uh, two to three months. They are hoping that when the uh, reject happens in Delhi, he would be pushed back to Delhi. But of course that may not happen as we are hearing. So this is more a, a game of political pressure that they are applying on uh, the Congress. But of course the power play within the NCP also is very clearly visible. All right. Nidhi? They just interesting times there then in Maharashtra. Thanks very much for joining us with that update. Now, the BJP's top leadership has begun a three-day meeting of its national executive just outside Delhi today, chalking out a new plan of attack against the UPA government, particularly its economic reforms. That includes a hundred rallies that are being planned over the next month and a door-to-door -door campaign. The question is, with the party still badly divided, can it effectively counter the UPA? Our tune to charm the voters, that the BJP needs it, was very clearly visible at the start of its conclave. Just a month ago, the mood was upbeat. Colgate had dented the UPA. But in two clear strikes, Manmohan hiked diesel prices, cleared FDI. 
It drowned the corruption plank. The party's effort is now to drown the Congress's reforms race. The key effort will be to bring back corruption to the center stage. Our only focus area is to expose corruption, massive corruption by Congress government. In the last one year, the party joined hands with Anna, hobnobbed with Ramdev. The attempts failed. And recently, the UPAs moved sidelined the issue. Desperately, the BJP plans a new move and may go for real politics. BJP plans 100 rallies in a month. A nationwide door-to-door -door campaign will start soon. There are some jitters over rejecting FDI. Eyeing the trader vote, Gatkari sent out a signal. BJP is against FDI in retail. Modi proposed a rally in each constituency to explain why the BJP opposed FDI. But beyond the visible, the BJP's concerns persist. The party is divided. Ex-Karnataka CM Yadurappa, seeking more power in the state, stayed away from day one of the party conclave. The leadership issue is still a problem. Modi's rise is creating more fissures and even threatens to divide the NDA. Though corruption is still not a game changer, the BJP can work hard, hope things may change. The leadership issue is a crisis, but eventually the party thinks it can sort it out. But the real worry for the party should be the events of the last fortnight. Mamta Banerjee has walked out of the UPA. The NCP Congress Alliance is going through nervous moments. FDI brought several non-Congress, non-BJP players on the same plank on the same day. Still, the numbers of partners supporting the BJP aren't increasing. If coalition is the road to power, due to the communal tag, BJP is still walking alone. In Faridabad, Rahul Shivastav for NDTV. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.